Oh, Brandon, now you have said that this Oscar nomination means so much to you and just, just was an incredible moment for you. Can you talk about the significance of this moment at this stage of your career being nominated for your first Oscar? Um, the story of the whale is about redemption. And I'd be remiss to not acknowledge that I feel a sense of that too. So I share it with this character and I feel like if there are those who've seen this film and they can identify with the struggles that this man goes through, you're not alone. There's some good news since the movie came out. The number of people asking for help at the Obesity Action Coalition has gone up, 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 up. Mm. People are coming forward. It's doing some good. That is... That is so beautiful as an artist to have your work be bigger than you. It's really so much about that. Oh, that's so incredible. So uh, you, you're here with your family. Are these uh, yeah, your are here. behind you? What are it's your Holden. son? Holden. This is, this is Holden and, and Leland. How proud of you! Uh, how proud of your father are you, Holden and Leland? And you look lovely tonight, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. We are unbelievably proud. <laughs> Beyond excited. Yeah. I mean, yeah. over the moon. <laughs> This is such a beautiful performance, such an incredible, amazing moment that is well overdue and right on time. Have the best time tonight with family. Just Thank you. take it all in. I shall stay in the moment. I shall stay in the moment. The one and only Jamie Lee Curtis and also now a SAG award winning actress. That speech was so incredible. What I know. So I want to know what does an icon do on Oscar morning? What was the first thing you did when you woke up this morning? Well, I I read a book called The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo, mm. and today's offering was the most profound one I've ever read in conjunction with what's going on today here. Wow. Um, uh, the word everything was in it all throughout, and it was obviously written a long time ago. So, you know, I do meditation. I'm a sober person. I talk to people. I communicate with my friends. Mm. I'm a, I, my husband made me a little breakfast, and, uh, you know. Got I love a man cooking for you. Yeah. Yeah, that was what he offered, a little breakfast. I love it. Now, let's take a look with how, of how it started. Let's take a look at the screen. What does that mean? What does that mean? How it started and how it's oh. going. Let's take a look at how it started with your film debut in Halloween 45 years ago, wow. fighting off the legendary Mike Myers, and how it's going with your very first Oscar nomination for Everything Everywhere All at Once, where you fight off the legendary Michelle Yeoh. What would you tell your younger self about this milestone in your career at this stage of your life relax I would tell everybody just relax I think we all walk around so clenched mm. so filled with tension mm -hmm. the world is so crazy so difficult and my goal in life now as an old lady is just to say relax you are enough mm. you are enough this is a perfect moment right now call off the search just relax uh, it's so good to see you you're so ageless you're so sexy always it's it's amazing. It's incredible. The people at home are getting their lives right now. You <laughs> you are performing tonight's in memoriam. What does this moment mean for you tonight to perform this song in this context? It's it's an honor, you know, to uh, pay tribute. And uh, I'm certainly glad that they called me and I selected a number I think is very appropriate. And uh, I'm very happy to be here. Life is good. Amen, amen. Now, your beautiful daughter, Zoe Kravitz, is also an incredible actress. Have you two ever talked about doing a project together where you act in a film or you know, something together? We, we have discussed it, and it would, it would have to be the right thing. Um, but I would love to work with her one day. Um, I adore her, and uh, it would be a lot of fun. And what can we look forward to um, from Lenny Kravitz in 2023? A new album dropping very soon, and back on the road, another world tour. Mm. A couple more films, uh, so I'm, you know, I'm just keeping busy. But I'm really happy to be back because obviously COVID uh, stopped my world tour uh, a couple years ago, and uh, I love sharing music, and that's that's my main thing, you know. I am now joined by Oscar nominee for screenplay Sarah Polly. How are you feeling, Sarah? I'm feeling really good. I'm a massive fan of yours, so I'm very excited right now. This is a highlight for me. That is yeah. so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, you're nominated for screenplay tonight, which is so amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations on that. You direct 
also these amazing women, um, Rui, Rooney Mara, Frances McDormand, Claire Foy. What was the most surprising thing about directing these incredible women? I think the sense of community spirit they created and the way they supported each other and held each other and how much joy there was in making this film, which could have been a hard process. We just, there was so much joy. It was like working with a sports team who just had each other's back. I love that. Women supporting each other. It happens. We do it. Um, now, so I understand that Rooney brought a fart machine to set um, to get real laughs during a scene. Now, did she coordinate that with you or was that a surprise to you as well? It was shocking. I mean, the literally the last person in that group of people we would have suspected had it was her, which is why everyone thought it was real for almost a full day. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> so what? So wait, I, can you set the scene? So like you're shooting a scene, and all of a sudden like farts start going off. Is that? Yeah, what? And then there's like a suspicion with a lot of the actors that it may be our camera operator, which starts hysterical laughing, and it went on for many, many takes. It was a scene where people had to laugh, and Rooney didn't know how everyone's going to sustain it for two days straight, and she solved the problem. I love that. So many incredible actors here tonight. Anyone you'd like, a dream actor you'd love to direct, they're here tonight. Who would it be? There's so many of them. I would say Michelle Yeoh. Oh, no. yes. Yeah. And she also just seems like an amazing human being, so. Hello, darling. It's so good to meet you. Oh, my goodness. It's amazing to meet you. I love you. Seriously. I love you. And we cannot wait for The Little Mermaid. It's coming soon, right? Yes, May. May 26th. Oh. Yes. Now, can you tell us a story you're um, telling us with this beautiful ensemble tonight? You just look, you look like a dream. Thank you so much. Well, tonight I'm wearing Dolce and & Gabbana. Oh. And I was really excited to wear this beautiful, poofy dress to kind of, you know, go into the fairy tale world and give them princess for one day, you know. Mm. So I'm loving it. Now, the world is so excited about you as a Little Mermaid. And I understand that Lynn manuel Miranda wrote four new songs for the, for the film. What was it like singing those words and that, the melodies from this genius that is Lynn manuel Miranda? Yes. I mean, well, Alan Menken and Lynn manuel Miranda are a wonderful duo. But I was just really excited to sing the original songs that I loved so much. And the new ones I think people will just embrace and really love, and I hope they do. But I cannot wait for people to see a little sneak peek of something tonight. And I'm just. Is there going to be a sneak peek of something tonight? Is the trailer finally coming out tonight? Is that what you're saying? I don't know, but I'm here for a reason, <laughs> is what I'll say. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Good to see you this too. film, obviously, you were in the first one. It has had such an impact again. How does it feel to be back at the Oscars with this incredible project? I have to say, the first year I was much more relaxed, you know, for Avatar 1. Now, now today I find myself having an out-of-body experience. I'm grateful. I am happy. I'm excited. This year has been a whirlwind just watching all the movies as well. I've been a fan of all the other movies as well. So I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm just happy to be here. Mm. What, what are you, what, besides Avatar, what films are you like loving the most and rooting for tonight? Everything, everywhere, all at once was absolutely stunning. Women talking. Um, I loved uh, Triangle of Sadness was amazing. Uh, and Avatar 2, Way of Water. I'm biased. <laughs> absolutely. You look stunning as usual. What story are you telling us with this look tonight? Um, I wanted something simple. I wanted something comfortable. The older I get, the more I put priority on just feeling comfortable. We're going to be here for many, many hours. Um, I also trust my team blindly, so whatever they're inspired to sort of put together. I'm wearing Fendi vintage Cartier jewelry because I am, I am advocating now for sustainability as much as possible, and we forget that sustainability is also recycling, wearing pieces from other times. And this Tyler, uh, this Tyler um, Ellis bag is also recyclable, sustainable. Um, so yeah, it's about pairing things and doing what you can. I think that's super important. Congratulations. Oh, I'm so happy for you. You said, you've said that when you were filming Blonde, that you felt the spirit of Marilyn was on set with you. How did that change your performance when you felt Marilyn's energy enter for you? Well, I think, you know, she, Marilyn is all over LA, you know, everywhere we went, all the locations, every, everywhere you go, she's there, everyone has a story about her, so we definitely all felt her, her presence in the sense of, like, that spiritual energy, and I think that 
that that definitely help you know with with the commitment and with the that willingness of, of everyone doing right by her and, and loving the process of making this movie even more I love that I have to ask you what story are you telling us with this beautiful look tonight you look stunning I just feel like I'm like uh, you know this is like the just like little drops of rain and flowers and you know little mermaid something Wakanda forever Angela Bassett mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is so good to see you here at the Oscars. I'm getting emotional. Angela Bassett is back at the Oscars. So when you were nominated, I'm not going to cry. When you were nominated for What's Love Got to Do With It 30 years ago, you said that the energy was very different than it, it's been this award season. Now that you're here tonight, how does it feel compared to then versus now? Well, so much love and support compounded, mm. compounded, compounded, compounded. I felt it, you know, with me the, this entire journey, and it's been wonderful. Incredible. You're obviously the first actress to be nominated for an Oscar um, from a Marvel film. It's history. How, does, how are you processing that piece of history, making that history tonight? What? Honestly, um, I, I hear it and I just let it, you know, float around my shoulders, but I don't really think about it too much. Just, you know. Very good. We have to ask, what story are you telling us with this look? You look stunning. Thank you. This Jeremy Scott Moschino and uh, it's light, it's royal, royal purple, our color of royalty. So just bringing that to the carpet and also spring. Eva, you look so stunning. Thank you. What story are you telling us with this look tonight? Oh, a disco ball. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you people can dance around me. I'm like that sparkly from down to my nails by Kimmy. The nails, the, the, um, the rings, the, who, who designed the dress? Zuhair Moran. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We, you're celebrating your directorial debut, which premiered last night, Flaming Hot. How, how does it feel to have the film finally out, that people can see it? How, how, was, how was last night? Well, we premiered at South by Southwest in Austin, which is my home state, so I was so happy and excited about that. Um, but we will be on Hulu in June, so it'll be a minute before people can see it, but, but the reviews were amazing. The audience was insane. I, it couldn't have played in front of a better audience. Now, has it been your dream to direct for a while? Has that been that something that you wanted to do, or is it a new dream? Yeah, I've been doing it for about 12 years, but this is my first feature. Gotcha. Yes, gotcha. and so this has been like a dream come true for me, uh, especially this story. Flaming Hot's the true story of Richard Montañez, who had a big hand in, in helping launch the biggest snack in the world, which is Flaming Hot Cheetos, which we all love. We really do. <laughs> we love them too much. <laughs> A little bit too much. Now, there's so many amazing films this year, so many amazing performances. Who are you rooting for tonight? Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm excited to see Rihanna perform. And uh, I'm rooting for Baz Luhrmann. I loved Elvis. I Me loved too. him. Uh, I loved the costumes. I loved everything about that yeah. movie. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy to be here. I'm presenting the museum tonight, the Academy Museum. So I'll be, I'll be uh, really excited for everybody to see that. You said that playing Elvis, he became a part a fiber of your being. What is your favorite takeaway from embodying this character that has now led to your first Oscar nomination? What's my favorite takeaway? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to list just one because uh, it's it's such a part of my life, you know. I, my best friends that I've met along this journey and um, just all the personal things that I had to dig out of myself in order to... to go on the journey in the first place and um do you feel like a different man now because of this um process yeah for sure and it's also it started four years ago yeah so tonight is literally the close of that chapter you yeah. know and what a great way to go out yeah, it feels very very good what a great way what story are you telling us with this beautiful look tonight what story am i telling you yes. well i mean this is saint laurent and uh I don't know what story I'm telling you. I just, I just thought it was a beautiful tuxedo. Michelle, you have said that you've been rehearsing for 40 years to play this character. You're here at the Oscars, nominated, potentially can make history. What are you feeling right now? I'm feeling really happy. I'm feeling at peace. We got here. Yeah. Who would ever imagine that this little movie that had a big heart came all the way to the Oscars? So I'm 
happy. The most nominated film tonight. What story are you telling us with this beautiful look tonight? This You look so beautiful, so ethereal. That's exactly. I mean, I'm in, the, in a cloud. Mm. I'm in just a cloud of happiness. This is so exciting. This night has finally arrived. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. It's finally here. You're finally here. It's incredible. Oh, I'm so, so excited. I cannot believe it. This, this whole journey, being here is a miracle for me. Uh, didn't think any of this would happen, but I'm just, wow. I'm here, but it's still a miracle. Yeah. In the film, your character says the most beautiful thing. Every rejection, every disappointment has led you here to this moment. How does that quote resonate with you in this moment tonight? I'm, I'm getting emotional just hearing you saying it. Uh, it's absolutely right. Every rejection, every disappointment. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't think I would have a second chance. Uh, yeah, so being here is really special for me. And it, it really means that, you know, anything, anything is possible. You look stunning. What story are you telling us with this beautiful ensemble? I am telling old school Hollywood, like circa early 2000s. I just wanted to keep it really chic and classy. So we're going with Archive Armani from 2005. And just some really nice, beautiful, soft hair, glowing skin, a lot of K-skin on the skin. Yes. <laughs> Let's promote that K-skin. Yes, K-skin. What? There's so many amazing films tonight, so many amazing performers. Who are you rooting for tonight? Ooh, I am rooting for everywhere, everything, everywhere, all at once. I watched it twice. Me too. <laughs> because I needed to let another friend watch it with me. It was that good. So yeah. I am really rooting. Yeah. After party, you, I mean, you probably know everybody. Is there someone you're looking forward to meeting or partying with at the after party? What's the tea, girl? Um, I am excited to see Rihanna. Okay? Okay. We all are. Yes. <laughs> all that. Yes, absolutely. Riwi is performing and nominated for an Oscar. That is so epic. So iconic. And as a Caribbean girl, I am so, so, so proud. Mm. I can't believe. Like, the Caribbean is always working and doing good things. So I'm really, really proud to be in this moment and get to see her shine. Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Emily Blunt. And I love that reaction you just had. I have the same reaction to you. Devil Wears Prada is one of my favorite movies ever. Okay. Band out. I would start quoting. I would start quoting from that movie. But we have other things to talk about. You are co-stars in Jungle Cruise. What was the most surprising thing about working together? How much we hate each other. No, come on. <laughs> that's why they've paired us tonight. They, that's we're true. Presenting we are, we're paired tonight to present. So what, what was the... What was so, so you're saying you hate her? No, I love this one. No, she's amazing. She's amazing. I don't know. What was the most surprising thing? Probably how handsome I was in person. Probably how talented I was once we got things I going. Know, Let like, me help you, right? You're getting oh all Oh, my that. God, he can act. Like, it was that kind of <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that one. <laughs> The story you're telling with your both your looks tonight, you both look stunning. What's your story? What's your story? We gotta talk fashion. I'll tell you uh, yours first. I just loved it. I loved how simple and modern it was. It's Valentino. I fell in love. I put it on and it was a done deal. The way you said Valentino, that was Devil Wars Prada. Um, you, Mr. Rock. Uh, this is Ilaria uh, Urbanati, my stylist. This is her vision. We thought that Dolce could carry this off with some elegance. This is Ballet Pink. With ballet pink with a little bit of wool base. The wool brings out the masculinity just a oh little bit. My so gosh. ballet pink, yes, The Rock, yes, yes. Emily Blunt. He has ate up so much of your time with his uh, it's masculinity. All, it's all good. It's well, all good. My grandmother's favorite color. Nope. She just passed away last night. So. <laughs> she didn't. Wow. She didn't. Okay. <laughs> right, we gotta go. Florence, you look stunning. What story are you telling us? Hi. What story are you telling us with this look tonight? I don't know. A bit of romantic. Bit of punk. Wearing some shorts. I'm doing it. <laughs> bit of romantic, a bit of punk wearing. Do you want to show your shorts again? My shorts. They're very short. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Now you're presenting. What do you know what you're presenting tonight? I am. I'm presenting adapted and original screenplay. Oh, nice. Are you excited? So was there something that, one of the a film that stood out for you this year that you're rooting for? Everything, everywhere, all at once. I went in and I left feeling like I just witnessed life in front of me. It was unbelievable. Okay. I'm sorry. I have to ask one more question. This necklace, this yeah. choker. It's stunning. I can't keep it. I'm so sorry. What can who what Tiffany. It's Tiffany. 
Tiffany? Yeah. Incredible. You look stunning. Thank you so Have much. Have the best time. Thank you so much.